the day here on the Carvana PPA Tour. Anna Lee Waters is now on the court. The number one seed facing off against Hurricane Tyra Black. And this is a matchup you should be eager to watch for. Hurricane Tyra Black, a professional tennis player, now coming over to the pickleball world. Zero, zero. You mentioned, I think, top 300. Was right that correct? 300 is what I was quoted, yes. She's working with the Selkirk paddle in hand. I think she's only been playing around a month or so, maybe a little bit longer. But I tell you what, she's rocking the outfit right now. So she, I mean, that's <laughs> I think important they both in pickleball. Got the pink memo yeah, here. That's important in pickleball, so she's off to a good start. Uh, going to the forehand slice from the back of the court. Don't see that too often from players. And real interested to monitor how comfortable she is moving forward or if she's going to hang out in the back of the court more. Point. Big cross court backhand from Annalie Waters. Her bread and butter can hit it to all the spots, but when she One, rips it cross zero. court, I don't I don't think anyone does it better on the women's tour. Annalie Waters, the forehand cross court. Yeah, definitely working the angles early in this match, kind of staying back for a ball or two and getting two, that one she zero. really wants and stepping in and approaching the net. Point. Tough though, she, Hurricane Tyra got a Three, withdrawal zero. in the first round. So <laughs> this is her first match against Annalie Waters. <laughs> tough, tough to deal with that. Point. And Hurricane Tyra also being added to the MLP roster in terms of the challenger level Four, after zero. the draft shuffle. She'll be with the Brooklyn Aces. Couple of nice touch volleys, and it looks like Hurricane Tyra's trying to find a little bit of her footing here, slipping just a, a step or two here. Keeps looking down at the court. Looks looks like she has some pretty solid court coverage, and yeah. we've seen her kind of do the tennis slide, which is very common from high end athletes in the in the tennis scene to slide on the court. So uh, we'll have to keep monitoring everything moving forward as we have not had uh, an extended look at this player uh, so far on the PPA tour. Five. Zero. Point. Anna Lee Water somehow picks that one up. Yeah, nice play from Anna Lee. And definitely seeing, Six. maybe, well, wouldn't use the word un uncomfortable, but definitely a little foreign for her up there at the kitchen line. Point. Uh, Wrapping that one around the top of her head. Yeah, I think she, I think Annalie clipped the tape on that one. But I like the approach and they come forward uh, just to mix it in. Uh, always, always tougher uh, beginning Zero. of a career to be comfortable at the kitchen Point. line uh, as opposed to the back of the court, which with her tennis background is definitely where she's playing most of her shots at tennis. Zero. One minute. Of course, Annalie Waters looking to continue her reign as it is now a substantial lead here. She has won 10 events in a row in the tournaments that she has entered. Could this be number 11? Annalie Waters has not lost since June. That was to Paris Todd, who, by the way, is here in Florida, however, not playing in the singles competition. Annalie Waters has an 8-0 start. Point. Over Hurricane Tyra Black. Make it nine. She's definitely a mover. Yeah. yeah you, you can see the court coverage and some of the lateral movement and back or up and back movement is there for her. Point. But pickleball, definitely a nuanced game. Ten, different zero. than tennis. Singles, the best medium to, to uh, kind of compare to tennis, but it is definitely a different sport. I think one of the biggest differences, obviously, the size of court as zero, well as the ten. paddle slash racket technology and the difference between the two. Oh, yes. Tough footing again. Ten, zero. Point. Make it 11-0. Annalie Waters with a pickle in game one. Two minutes. A 
Oh man, that's gotta be tough mentally. You gotta go up against the number one seed <laughs> right when you walk in the door. Oh man. I mean, you said it, she's won 10 in a row. So that's, that, that's, your, <laughs> that's, your, first, <laughs> that's your first match on the Carvana PPA Tour, uh, playing singles. You don't even have a partner to work with, playing singles against the top player in the world. So uh, uh, we saw a little clip there of Lee Waters uh, Anna Lee's mother kind of going to be on the bench throughout the year with that ACL injury. So very nice to have uh, obviously Lee on the court with Anna Lee, but off the court giving tips and having that extra set of eyes is is really important. So uh, just a dynamic duo, whether they're on the court or one on one off the, the waters are just absolute uh, beasts in the game of pickleball. So focused are the waters mom and daughter duo been fun to watch this women's singles competition last uh, tournament the Vulcan Indoor National Championships Catherine Parento walked away with the title over uh, Leah Jansen that was a wild final where Catherine Parento came storming back she was trailing by a substantial margin I believe she got what was it 10 or 11 straight points in a row to win that match um, those two have definitely solidified themselves at the top of the ranks. Get this, in the last nine tournaments alone, only four ladies have medaled. That's Annalie Waters, of course, picking up the last 10 events that she had entered. Catherine Parento, Leah Jansen, also a part of the mix. And then that final fourth spot is Salome Davidze. Couple uh, sailed long returns on the slice from Hurricane Tyra. Man, yeah. what a shot from Annalie Waters. I thought she was in trouble off that return. Yeah, nice nice court coverage to even get a paddle on it. But yes, as you mentioned, the shot making just on point from Annalie. Point. A little bit of a slide again there from Hurricane Tyra. Yeah, interesting. Definitely having some issues with the footing. Just missed, but good look. Nice, better balance from Hurricane Tyra on that passing a shot. Just missed it a couple inches Four, wide. Zero. But uh, Annalie Waters, runaway train right now. Side out. Again, working to that backhand side of Hurricane Tyra. Four, zero. We've seen a few times this year, Annalie Waters working with the rainbow serve as well as a few extra lobs in her game. Yeah, Always zero, adding different four. pieces. That's right, change that, that eyesight, how your opponent sees the ball, can create some errors. Tough spot, nice approach from Anna Lee Waters. Hurricane Tyra just kind of throwing up a lob, trying to get back in position. Four, I think the zero. amount of control that this requires in terms of not wanting to hit that overhead as hard as possible. <laughs> just taking a good Side point. Out. There's a good point. Yeah, beautiful shot from Hurricane Tyra. It's in there. Zero, four. Ooh, and oh, another. This is not good. Yeah, what's going on? I mean, great movement to get there, but we've, we've seen this a couple times in this relatively short match where Hurricane Tyra has lost her footing. That's the first time she went down, but not quite sure what's going on. Four, zero. Side out. Well, it's interesting too. me. You watch Annalie Waters, and maybe it's because Annalie's making her Zero, move so four. much that's causing some of the issues, but. Side, side out. Yeah, sure. The angles that Annalie is creating are Zero. pretty legit. So, yeah. so, you know, that, I mean, that's definitely a factor in the situation. Uh, 
you think about some of the matches you've seen from Annalie Waters and Catherine Parento, and Catherine just sliding from left to right. She's definitely found her own slide in the game of pickleball, having pulled that from tennis. Especially with some of the kind of the shorter competitors, yeah. uh, you often see that more sliding. Uh, taller competitors obviously have better reach, so sliding to get as much as you can out of your reach is pretty important in the game of tennis. Oh, great effort there from Hurricane Tyra. Yeah, her court coverage is definitely legit. Uh, some of the the passing shots and decision making has been, uh, you know, she's 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 a novice. She's new to the sport, so it can't be perfect at this point. But there's definitely some raw tools in there for sure. Point. And that shot is made to look so easy by Annalie Waters, but it is anything but. This two-hand high overhead backhand, and especially going cross-court, pulling that ball back across her body. Point. Miss hit return from Hurricane Tyra, sailing Seven. an inch long. First volley was a thing of beauty, though. Yeah, I mean, it was a great approach, too. So for Anna Lee to, to get Hurricane Tyra on the full stretch is just an incredible passing attempt from her. Side out. Zero. Eight. I think she had a little smile at that serve miss. <laughs> Hard to be a veteran at age 16, but that's the, that's the situation <laughs> that we're in right here with Anna Lee Waters, making really good decisions out there, playing a nice clean game. Uh, good try. She had some nice offense to defense there, but couldn't come up with the volley. Takes another awkward step uh, after that uh, contact with the forehand. So 10-0 here in game two. Not so fast. Nice combination. Probably the best approach shot we've seen and a very crisp up the line volley with that slice backhand. It was a good two shot combination from Hurricane. And again, Annalie Waters. It's just, it's just too good. I mean, that's a deep middle uh, approach from, her, from Hurricane Tyra and unbelievable that she can come up with that angle on the passing shot. Point. And Annalie Waters again with the forehand winner and the point. So a double pickle for a first round match for Annalie Waters. She's looking strong. Uh, yeah, that's, Always. That's, that's, what she, that's what she does, Cameron. She looks strong. <laughs> she looks strong. She plays strong. I mean, she's just doing her thing out there. Like I said, a veteran at age 16. There's the match point for Annalie Waters. She will be moving on in the women's draw. We say that so often here on the Carvana PPA Tour. She'll face off against Lina Padigamaite next. Welcome back. My name is Cameron Blackwood here with Anna Lee Waters. AL, when you go into place, someone that is newer to the tour, what's the discussion like with your mom and the team before stepping out on court? Yeah, well, obviously we try to watch the match before if we've never seen them play. Uh, unfortunately, the girl that she was supposed to play defaulted, so we didn't even get a chance to, you know, scatter out. But in the warm-ups, you know, I was just kind of feeling her out, like seeing, you know, what might be your weaker shot. Uh, I didn't really figure too much out in the warm-up, so I just wanted to go out, play my own game, play really aggressive, try not to give her a little opening. Uh, be aggressive from the start, really. And let's talk about climate. I know, like you said, you're used to the humidity, but we've been to Arizona, Minnesota, the climate, elevation, humidity changes. How are you able to stay successful and change the game accordingly? 
Well, I love this climate, obviously, because I'm from Florida, so I think I have a little advantage playing here. Usually, uh, in other states, I'll go maybe three days early, just try to get a feel, but for this one I drove up yesterday, I'm super happy to be in Florida. There you have it. Annalie Waters moving on in the women's draw. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.